Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema. Sit down. Uh, we just checked out uh, a trailer that came out earlier today for Top Gun Maverick, the second trailer that we've gotten for the movie. If you want to see my trailer reaction, you can see it right up there. Um, but, you know, watching that trailer kind of put me in the mood. I was like, you know what? I got some time. I'm sitting down. Let's check out a couple more trailers because there were a couple that came out last week that we didn't get to watch uh, that I was intrigued by, including this first one, which stars Daniel Radcliffe in quite the nifty beard and longer hair situation. As soon as I saw the image, I was like, ooh. Harry Potter, you don't look anything like Harry Potter. I uh, got that beer, man. What, what are you getting into? Well, why don't you pull up a chair, man? Take a seat. We're getting ready to take a look at the first official trailer for Escape from Pretoria. Now, like I said, when this was tweeted out, I, I just saw the image of Radcliffe. I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. Um, like, what, what made him, you know, grow out the hair and the beard? What's he getting into? And then I was like, ooh, Escape from Pretoria. That sounds like a prison break movie, which is exactly what it is. And it's actually based on a real-life prison break by three young political prisoners uh, from a jail in South Africa. Uh, it's based on the book written by Tim Jenkin, who uh, Daniel Radcliffe is portraying in the film. Um, and it'll kind of chronicle their escape. Uh, and being a fan of escape films, uh, you know, th and there's been a lot of great escape movies over the years. Like, <laughs> the great escape. A uh, nice interlude right there. Um, you know, stuff like Prison Break. Uh, that first season of Prison Break was genius, dude. And it's the, the, the idea that it's hard to break out of prison. So the, the route and the way in which, you know, you do escape and figure out how to escape and escape safely always always intrigues me and if you can give me a story where i can root for the guys who are trying to escape from prison well now you've really got me so let's not waste any more time man i want to see if that is what we're gonna get with this uh you know escape thriller so let's get our trusty little travel box up all right man we are ready getting nice and small so let's shrink it on down hey oh we are tiny the trailer for escape from pretoria is down below let's see what danny radcliffe is bringing uh with this prison escape movie no pens no radio no newspapers no political conversation visitors are once per month did you ever sleep through my bed again sir not friendly guards I get used to this you are the white mandala you are the most deluded of them all We've heard about you too. How many years? <laughs> For me, tough family. Not if we don't plan on staying that long. Based on the incredible true story. It's 20 foot high. The barbed wire covers every inch of the yard. Boars with guns. We'll lock up until dawn. Tunnels in any direction. They just lead you back onto prison property. Everybody comes in here and they're going to break out of here by next week. Always a first time. That's my touch exactly. You want to make key with pencil and drawing paper? No, no, from wood. Not too crazy. So all we have to do is make a really complex key, then get it to reach a keyhole on the other side of a steel panel, three inch thick iron door to which we have totally no access. I <laughs> should need somebody crazy enough to be in on the plan. You like fail, that. get 25 years if you're lucky. A bullet in the head if you're not. Hold! Is this? No! Somebody's coming. Quick! Your whole plan is doomed to failure. I won't give up. Daniel Lever, that's the name. You didn't do anything. And heart. We are prisoners of conscience. What's different for us? Well, we're prisoners of war. What is wrong with you people? Did you to break us? This is how we fight. Hold on to that anger. Yeah, you mind you, there's another world. That's not all this. Breaking out, March. I like that. That's clever. Good for you, Escape from Pretoria. Um, that looks interesting, man. It was weird. I, I was way more engaged at the beginning of that trailer, and then the the, the switch in, in music kind of 
threw me out of it a little bit. Uh, kind of pulled me away from some of the suspense that I thought the beginning of the trailer was really pulling on. But that that looks good, man. It looks like it should be real suspenseful. Looks like it's going to have lots of classic elements um, of an escape movie. And like I said, I'm always interested uh, to see what Daniel Radcliffe is doing. And I, now I feel like I got to go look up this dude, Tim Jenkin, man. Um, they said he was the white Mandela. Um, you know, one of the hardest for them to, to get a hold of. So I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about this story. So now I'm going to have to go back and, and look into who Tim Jenkins was. Um, kind of find out what his story was and find out why they were in prison. Um, I'm not sure if the movie will really completely cover that. It looked like most of the, the movie took place in the prison with a couple of flashbacks. Um, but like I said, uh, certainly intriguing enough to pull me in, man. That, that seems like it should... You know, as long as the score can match what you're trying to do tone-wise uh, and tension-wise, I think that could be a movie that pulls you to the edge of your seat uh, quite a bit. So there you go, man. Those are all my thoughts uh, for the uh, Escape from Pretoria or just Escape from Pretoria. Um, I, I'm, I'm certainly interested. Definitely uh one that I think is worth a watch, uh, and I'll try to be checking out when that comes out in March. Um, question is, what are you thinking, man? Uh, did you know anything about Escape from Pretoria before it came out? Do you know anything about this story, who Tim Jenkins is? If you know who Tim Jenkins is, save me some time, man. Help me out. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. But let me know everything you're thinking, man. If you're, you're pumped to see Daniel Radcliffe in, in a prison escape movie, uh, what, what's drawing you in in that trailer? What's what's kind of pulling you to the edge of your seat? What, you know, that, that whole bit with, like, the, the key and it all being made of wood and stuff. Like, you, know, you see it breaks in the one. Really, really interested to see what goes on with that stuff so if that's something you're interested in or whatever other things we're kind of pulling on your attention let me know that down below in the comments as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're new you want to come hang out with the old c man as we approach escape from pretoria some days the words will come out of my mouth <laughs> without stumbling so bad but if you're interested in following along with me uh or just coming to hang out in general with the old c man anytime we're talking movies or trailers uh you know what you gotta do man come come join join the cinema sit down squad uh, I don't know why I was saying all those words two times, but come join the Cinema Sit Down Squad, man. Hit that little subscribe button over there. Hit the bell that follows so you get alerts and I don't just pop up in your feed if you want to be the first to know. That bell will help you out. Uh, and until next time, man, the C-Man's Cinema Sit Down. I'm the C-Man. I'm signing off. You get out of here. Peace. Well, well, if you aren't still here, looking for something else to check out that's C-Man related, why don't you check out a video like this guy or this guy and if you really want to help the C-Man out in year two, hit that subscribe button and come join the cinema sit-down squad, kids. You know what to do. See ya.